Deadpool, and we are here with Marvel's Deadpool back in Black Series. Now, I went over to my target, and I was destined, I was destined to find the Apocalypse Wave. However, I didn't. Uh, apparently, there was, like I said before in my other video, there was one of each character in that wave. So, you either get it or you don't. So, I missed out on that entire Apocalypse Wave over at my local target. But, uh, I had to leave with something, and it was either Captain America Avengers uh, Infinity War or Deadpool. And I don't have a Deadpool in my collection, so I said, why not? The packaging looks amazing. He's back in black. If you don't know about this Deadpool, I quickly did a, a quick search, and it's pretty much the symbiote that Spider-Man rejected uh, found its way to Deadpool, and they had a couple of uh, they had a couple of ventures with each other, and we have this uh, Deadpool Venpool, uh, Venom Pool, as some would say. I could be wrong with the, the name Venompool. That could be something entirely different, but we'll just call him Venpool for now. Uh, but this is the packaging, so let's take a look at the side art right here. Nothing too special other than um, it's not a figure. Uh, let me bring up another box to show you what I'm talking about. Compared with the Magneto, um, if you can see... Oh, oh, this is still a bad example. Okay, so apparently it's not the figure. Uh, I thought it was the figure itself, but that was in the back, I'm sadly mistaken. But as you can see, it's, you know, this is more of a creative uh, aspect to it, or a, a flare, since the packaging is purple, back in black. This is an 80s vaporwave kind of deal here, and this is just Magneto, just playing it safe with Magneto. But you can't play safe with Deadpool, so this is the side panel art here. This is the uh, figure itself, and I gotta say, if you're gonna pick up this figure, especially with this kind of paint application, I highly recommend, if there's more than one, uh, go through them and make sure you pick one that doesn't have any major flaws in the uh, the paint job, because uh, there were quite a few of these uh, Deadpools that they had splotches and, and splooges of the white paint leaking out of its borders so you gotta be careful so from the surface it looks good uh, and there's no other uh, figures in this wave it's just uh, Deadpool and I'm pretty sure there's another one out there I could be sadly mistaken but uh let's bust this bad son of a gun open and let's see is this the best Venom pool out to date And here is Venom Pool. But before we get to him, let's get to the accessories real quick. And this guy came with a bunch of accessories. Take a look at these bad boys here. First and foremost, we get these claw like hands here. Uh, definitely digging these claw like hands. Uh, very sharp, very pointy. Uh, it's, it's good to uh, attack. You don't get only one, you do get another one. So you got a left and a right. This one is a more of an open, somewhat, yeah, it's more open and then the one on the left here. So, uh, very well done. And it looks, oh man. Oh man. I don't know if you guys can see that. This looks chipped. Is it chipped? I would have to look in the packaging, but that definitely looks like it's not supposed to happen. That looks chipped there. Oh no. Alright, so a piece of the molding. You do get these swords. Um, let's just call them plasma-powered swords. Translucent. Very nice. Very well done here. Take a look at that, uh... The ripple effects here. You can, you can probably hear that. Very well done here. Clean paint application. Nothing too crazy. You do get two of them. Again, very clean here. A little bit of paint splooge leakage there. But nothing uh, to cry home about. Very well done. And I gotta say, for the most part, for the most part, these things are pretty straight pretty straight not 
yeah, actually, that's really good. Maybe this one here is a little bent, but very well done. You do get a fisted hand as well, included with this figure. He already has a fisted hand. You get a head sculpt. Nice. Now, this is a really good looking head sculpt. No paint splooges, clean top, clean back, very clean paint, very clean. Uh, maybe the teeth are a little grimy. Uh, I'm not sure if that's how the character is supposed to look, but very clean. No paint leakage. Uh, the eye can be touched up there just a little bit, yeah. Go there with a sharpie. Very clean. Uh, and he comes with these uh, tendrils. Uh, Venom-esque tendrils here. This goes on the back of Deadpool. Let me give you, let me show you here. So this goes right on the back. There's a peg there. If you can see, there's a peg. And I'm assuming there's no right and there's no wrong way of uh, pegging this on his back. It's a firm fit. It is a firm fit. Now in the packaging, I saw one of the tendrils holding up the sword. Um, not sure how that... W oh! Wow! Can you guys see that? Hold on, let me bring this out a little bit. Take a look at that! Oh my god! This guy's gonna get in some weird funky poses. This is pretty damn cool. Alright, let's take a look at the figure itself now. Alright. Take a look at the paint. The paint is the most important thing for me on a figure like this. You can see those clean lines. Very clean lines. The sculpt came out clean. No paint splooge. No paint leakage. Okay, that right there in the in the center of uh, between his eyes is just the light. Check the back out. We do... We do... Oh, yeah. See, that's the thing with these figures. When the body mold itself is white. I believe it is white. Or is black? No, the top is white. I don't know if you guys can see that here, but there are some paint scratches. Let me see if I can fix that with the setting here. No. There are some minor scratches here, but if you're going to have the tendrils on his back, that's easily fixed. Or you can go and touch it up with the Sharpie. Not a big deal. Not a big deal breaker here. We've got a little paint here uh, missing. Not too bad, though. Not too bad. Take a look at that. Probably go over that with uh, maybe whiteout or something. Other than that, this is a solid figure. That came out super clean. I'm happy about that. Let's go through the points of articulation! Okay, points of articulation. His head can look up this much, which is a very, very good amount. This is neck breaker status, and you want ne neck breaker status. He could look down that much. Swivel, of course. Side to side, you can barely, barely get anything. Shoulder, of course. Swivel, ratcheted. Bicep swivel, of course. A double jointed elbows. You can go in that much. Take a look at that right there. Okay. Let's not forget wrist swivel. And up and down, of course. Okay, we got waist swivel swivel ab crunch of course he can move or bend over that much he can bend backwards about that much he can kick up that a really good amount that is a really good amount you definitely want that back about that much we have upper thigh rotation of course with any marvel legends double adjointed knees there we go. We have a uh, boot cut rotation. We have ankle pivoting and up and down motions. So he is solid on the ankle pivoting. Let's go in for a size comparison. So here is uh, Apocalypse build a figure uh, Wolverine wave here standing next to uh, the Venom pool. Let's take a quick measurement here. Deadpool reaches six inches and of course 
our beloved Wolverine. Uh, five and a half. Now I gotta say, this is a very, very solid figure. I do enjoy this figure oh, a lot. Other than the minor, uh, you know, imperfections with the paint in the back. And um, his one of his hands here looks like it's been, like, declawed. Uh, other than that, this is a solid figure. Good figure. Uh, great posability in this figure. Uh, loaded with accessories, and that is my thing i love when a figure comes with a boat load of accessories it just it makes the uh either posability or uh you know just the aspect of just collecting these things just worthwhile knowing that you're gonna get something and you're gonna be happy with it so i oh if i can get this to <laughs> if i can get this to stand here with all of them that'll be pretty damn neat i know that's not the right way to do it Oh, God. Anyway, this is a good figure if you're out looking for a Deadpool or at least a variant of some kind of Deadpool. Consider this Deadpool. This is pretty cool. And it's also reminiscent of um, X-Factor Deadpool. So, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like this figure a lot. This is pretty neat. I can't wait to have him and Wolverine going at it with each other. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, drop a like, and if you want to go the extra mile, remember, you can always subscribe. It's totally free, it's easy to do, and it makes me happy and go to sleep well at night. This is John from the Casual Collector Show, and remember, I usually say something else, but you know what? Catch you later!